Bakta Hill, thank you very much for being with us. You're a former Minister of Trade in South Korea, the Republic of Korea. So an obvious question. Uh, President-elect Trump today has said that he will tear up the uh, TPP, with the America will withdraw from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Is that a good or a bad thing for you in the Asia-Pacific region? Well, you know, for me, Korea, uh, we didn't participate uh, in TPP, but we hope to participate in TPP at a later stage. But uh, as an economist, I think the TPP was the good uh, epoch-making uh, agreement, which can uh, give uh, a lot of positive spillover effect on other uh, negotiations and integrations, because the best one, the multilateral trade negotiations, is is you know, stalled for 15 years and going nowhere. So I hope uh, TPP should work out, but uh, now Trump is abandoning it, uh, so we are losing potential gain out of TPP. And he's stressing the need for bilateral agreements, which I suppose by their very nature discriminate against those who are not. And also if you have too many bilaterals, the, the companies cannot enjoy the flexibility of business uh, models. So it's much better to have a bigger bigger uh, FTA rather than a bilateral one. I mean, China was never going to be part of the TPP. Was that a mistake by the Obama administration? No, I think uh, US strategy, you know, ultimate goal is to open up China. But in the process, I mean, uh, they want to form TPP without chi uh, China. And later, you know, we set the bar very high and then later ask China to join. So in that context, uh, I think Trump uh, uh, said very negative words about uh, China. So maybe TPP is a good strategy for Trump to continue to, to give a pressure to, uh, to, to China. So I can see some uh, inconsistency uh, when he make a lot of negative remarks on China, but he's abandoning TPP. Uh, so maybe that's why some people are still thinking that maybe in the future, Trump may change his mind. How have you found this conference, World Policy Conference? Because it seems to be dominated in a sense by two things, the Brexit decision by the United Kingdom and the election of Donald Trump. Yeah, I think uh, this is my first time uh, in participating in WPC and uh, we are having tremendous you know, subjects, uh, many, many different subjects. It's a good opportunity to, to come to cover all kinds of uh, issues, global issues, but this time, because of Brexit and because of Trump, uh, you know, the whole issues are dominated by this. Everything starts with how do we think about the uh, you know, impact of Trump, uh, things like that. I learned from many speeches, uh, so-called, uh, it's a very difficult concept, uh, inclusivity. Mm. I don't know what that means, but you know, to some extent we understand. But uh, everywhere, uh, this is a very important uh, issue. Even uh, international trade liberalization kind of policies, you must uh, apply Inclusivity, inclusivity, in other words, small companies and uh, you know, the, the laborers who lost the job because of trade. I think we have to focus more on them uh, with more uh, futuristic and more uh, detail, more uh, capacity enhancing, that kind of schemes. Otherwise, uh, just giving some money is not uh, going to work. Uh, Mr. Bakhtehil, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much.